Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to yet another video. And in today's video, yeah, that's my brand spank new 2021, 2022 KTM 1290 Super Adventure RR. And in today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys why I absolutely hate it. With 221 kilograms, it's not really a featherweight. At 23 liters of dyno juice, and you've got a 245 kilogram dirt bike. But when you put this monster vertically, yeah, it's not as fun as you would like it to be. And you have to get it back up. Yeah! It's a travel and adventure bike, so you want a lot of storage. Now the only storage that's on this motorcycle is this little box. I got my keys in there. And then when I want to put my iPhone 12 Pro in there, That's about it about storage. Now that little bit of storage brings me straight into number three. Extra luggage is very expensive. This little black aluminium case, it's 500 bucks, 500 euros. It's a little bit cheaper if you get it in gray, but not much. You also need this little case carrier. That's another 160 bucks. For the sides, these case carriers do come at 260 bucks. That's without the luggage. If you want to get the black boxes on both sides, they'll set you back another 900. That's expensive, right? The original exhaust is huge. So I bought the Akrapovic upgrade, but it's, it's just the same size. And it's not a lot lighter. It sounds great though, but it, this thing is like, it is huge. And for color schemes, well, you don't have a lot of options. You get the blue, orange and white and yeah, that that's it. You get the blue, orange and white. Would be cool if they would make like a full black one with like small orange details, but no. Blue, orange and white. I really like it though, but I mean, yeah, but you don't get a lot of options, right? Seating height. I got the lowered heated seat. It's really comfy. It's pretty fine. But when I have to maneuver the bike, I'm on my tippy toes. I know it's an off-road bike, so it's a little bit higher off the ground, but still, I'm one meter and 76 centimeters. That is that much in feet, and I still have to maneuver it on my tippy toes. Tippy toes. You do have two stands. You got the middle stand, you got the side stand, but when it's on the side stand, and you don't have really long legs, it's a so you gotta give it a little uh, swing when you jump on. See that? Now the Super Adventure S does come with adaptive cruise control. With the Super Adventure R, it's just it's just a big hole. But I see you thinking, like, who uses adaptive cruise control off-road? I know, but you will be traveling on road as well with this big monster. Now I've been riding a lot of motorcycles in my life, and I have never ever had a turn signal button as bad as this one. I mean, with gloves on, I have no idea what I'm doing. Not with small gloves, not with big gloves. For when it's really cold. This thing is weird. It moves around so freely, but this, this movement does absolutely nothing. This, absolutely nothing. This, nothing, does nothing. It's gotta make that little click or it doesn't work. And then to get it off, I, I feel like I gotta, gotta push it up or, or push it in, but it pushes to the side. Yeah, it. I mean, this switch button, knob, lever, whatever you wanna call this weird, funky thing, this is probably the most annoying thing on this bike by far. Now, don't forget, this bike shares the same engine as the Beast. The Super Duke R, a little bit tweaked down, but still 160 horsepower, and it is an absolute monster. So if you're not familiar with big boy adventure bikes, it can be quite scary. It's not for the faint of hearted. And I crashed it a couple of times, so I know, I kind of know what I'm talking about. When you're cruising on the highway, this bigger screen, you can also put it down just like that. But when I'm having a really good time, and I put some wheelies up, Gotta look through this little gap over here. 
It's also mainly because of my GPS holder, because it's now right in the way of the window. Even when I put it down, if I really, I still can't see a lot. But that's mainly, of course, because of the rally-inspired front lights. It's got some good wind protection, I really love it. But when you're having a really good time, yeah. Now, don't get me wrong, these are only 10 small little things I'm like, I don't really like. But there are 101 reasons. I absolutely love this bike. God dang it. It has torque, it has horsepower, it is ridiculously fast. It even pops wheelies at 100 kilometers an hour. This is just, this thing is incredible. Hope I don't get any cups over here. I'm doing like 90. <laughs> That's 150. So if you're really looking for an abnormal beast off-road and on-road, of course, you can also take it on the highway and cruise it down the highway at decent speeds. You gotta get yourself a 12.9 Adventure R. I really love it. Although this video is actually why I hate it, but I actually really, really love it. But I am really sorry. That's it for today's video. Really hope you enjoyed it. Got a lot more stuff coming. More KTMs, Husqvarna's. Also going to be testing the new Norden. Gonna be a lot of fun. Off-road adventure. Anyway, see you guys next one. Make sure to subscribe. Like this video, helps me out a lot. See you guys next one. Peace, drive safe.